Hello there friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library. And Ling and I are here today to talk to you about a couple books that are absolutely fantastic and we hope you, that you'll read them this week or really anytime, but this week in particular because we are at the last week of June right now. So that means it is the last week of Pride Month. Woohoo! So Pride Month is a month that celebrates all of the people in the LGBTQ community and their allies. So we've got a really great selection of books that reflect that at the library. So we thought this would be a great time to talk about some of those books. Now is a great time to read them, but you don't have to read them now. They're great any time of the year. So the very first book that I want to talk about is called Different Kinds of Fruit by Kyle Lukoff different kinds of fruit. So this is about a girl named Annabelle who is getting ready to go into middle school and she basically just thinks that everything is going to be the same as it's always been. The teachers are going to be the same, um, you know, the classmates are going to be the same, school is going to be the same, everything is going to be the same. Um, but when she starts there, she learns that there is something very different about this year. And they have a new classmate whose name is Bailey. And Bailey is super interesting and fascinating to Annabelle for a million of reasons. Um, and one of those reasons is that Bailey doesn't identify as a cisgender person. So... Annabelle has to learn all kinds of really new, new and interesting things about this and what this means and, you know, how it relates to her own family because she has a father that is also in the LGBTQ community. Um, so this book has a lot of different aspects to it. It has the great family aspect. It has the great um, learning new things about yourself and your friends aspect. But it also has to do with the school as well and how the school handles these types of things. Um... I thought this book was fantastic. I started reading it and I could not put it down. It was absolutely wonderful. So this is a really great book to introduce you to, um, to the wide spectrum of, you know, gender and identities and things like that. A different kind, different kinds of fruits. So the next one, you might recognize the author of this. This book is called Rick by Alex Gino. Now, Alex Gino is the author of a book that was originally called George, but has changed title to Melissa be to better reflect the character's identity in the story. So Melissa is a really amazing story about a young transgender girl going through elementary school and how she wants to try out for uh, Charlotte's Web. Um, and this is the, uh, another book by that author. Obviously, it's called Rick. So Rick is very confused and uncertain about a lot of things in his life. His best friend that he's grown up with is kind of a bully and a jerk and is really mean to him and other people, but he just kind of puts up with it because that's just how it's always been. His dad makes all kinds of jokes with him um, about girls that he's going to have crushes on and, and all kinds of stuff about girls that makes Rick really uncomfortable. He doesn't really want to talk about stuff like that. Um, so he joins this um, basically spectrum alliance at his school um, that is for all these LGBTQ kids um, and allies. And he learns that there are a lot of different kinds of identities and different ways to present yourself and different, different things like that that he finds really opening and freeing. And maybe through this club and through some of his new friends, he will be able to stand up to his bully friend and also have some difficult conversations with his dad. Um, I really like this book a lot. It's very short. It's not long at all. Very quick to get through. I liked it for a lot of different reasons, but especially the bullying aspect. Um, I think we've all been there, right? Where we've had a friend that we've known a long time or maybe not a long time, but they just they're just not nice and you feel like you're growing apart. Um, you know, so it has a lot of really great conversations and, and you know, way to, ways to start conversations like that that I think is absolutely magnificent. Love this book, Rick. Okay, and last but not least is my favorite of the three that I'm talking about today. I'm really excited about this book. Uh, I love it so much. It's called This Is Our Rainbow. 16 stories of her, him, them, and us. So this is a book full of short stories. Short stories are not normally my favorite type of thing to read, but in this case, it was amazing. I also really loved the cover art here. 
and the art on the back. And this book is just basically a bunch of different stories by a whole bunch of different authors, a lot of them that I absolutely love. Alex Gino, who we just talked about, wrote a book in here. Clarabelle Ortez, Mark Oshiro, Molly Knox Ostertag, um, Ashley Herring Blake, Marieke Nishkamp, like a bunch of other authors that, that we already know and love have written these fantastic stories and none of them are the same. So they're so different and they're not all about gender and identity and things like that. They just happen to feature characters like that, which is wonderful because, you know, these stories are about so many different things. For example, there's one story in there about um, a younger person who is dealing with the death of a pet. There is a poem in another one of these stories. There is my, one of my favorite ones is a little mini graphic novel. There's actually a couple different graphic little graphic novels in here as well, and they're absolutely fantastic. Some about dressing and expressing yourself. Some of them are realistic. Some of them are more fantasy oriented. Some of them are more um, like science fiction oriented. And like I said, all of these have a common link, which is they're all about people within the LGBTQ community, which is amazing. And even if the stories don't primarily feature that identity as the driving point of the story, they're still a part of the story and make you will help make you feel seen. I thought this was so great. And there's such a range of stories in this book. Like I said, some you might like, some you might, you might not like, but they're all worth checking out. Absolutely. Love this book. It is such a fantastic book. This is our rainbow. Well, that's what we've got for you guys today. I hope that these books sound really interesting and fun. Like I said, they're all available at Farmington Community Library. Please feel free to check them out. We'll celebrate Pride Month together while it's still here. It will be ending soon, but that doesn't mean you can't still read and enjoy these books at any time of the year. Thank you so much for watching, friends, and have a wonderful rest of the day.